Rex, Rex. Let's record the video. Let's record the video. <laughs> Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and today we have a new video. Who would have thought? So today's video is about the question that many people, uh, a huge amount of people, keep asking me in the comment section of the other videos, and it is about the GPU frequency, the unstable GPU frequency. Basically, you set a frequency to be, let's say, 2000, and you have, let's say, um, 1300, 1400, then 1500, so it is kind of unstable and going up and down as you play your games. This will be a really fast video because the problem is actually pretty simple. There are only two options uh, that can be the problem per se. So new GPUs, usually for example the, the new AMD GPUs, the Vega Arcs, the RX 5000 series Arcs, the RX 6000 series Arcs, they work with a boost clock and they work precisely with a boost clock. When they don't need to do as much work as, as their Macs, for example, or uh, when they are, for example, being bottlenecked, what happens is that they reduce clocks to actually be more efficient. So there are only two things, like I said before, that can be the cause of, the, of this. The first one is that you actually are using a frame lock, so you are actually locking the frames. For example, if you, ha if you have a FreeSync monitor, you will most likely have a locked frame rate, so you can actually be uh, in between your monitor's free sync range, uh, or that, or for example, you are using VSync and you have your FPS locked to that, uh, for example, to those 60 Hz or those six, uh, 75 Hz, those 144 Hz, doesn't matter. What matters is that you have locked frames. So, in case you have locked frames and your GPU can actually push way more frames than the 60 or the 75 that you're using, um, the GPU usage will be lower than the max, obviously, because the GPU doesn't need to, to waste all its power because you are running at lower FPS numbers. Um, so basically, they also reduce clocks. The older GPUs, for example, like the RX 580, would simply maintain the clocks while having lower GPU usage, but not these new ones. These new ones actually also reduce the frequency if you have, um, if they have way more power that that isn't being utilized. So they reduce not only not only you have the reduced usage, but you only uh, but you also have sorry uh, the reduced frequency. So hence why the bouncing. And the second one is actually uh, the CPU or RAM bottleneck because well while you're not using. The, the the frame locker, being it VSync, uh, enhanced sync, uh, frame locker, radiant chill, whatever. While you're not using that and you're you're still having this problem, it means that you're most likely have a GPU or a RAM bottleneck, a CPU or RAM bottleneck. Sorry. So basically, your CPU can't feed enough data to the GPU, so the GPU is actually slipping, hence it having reduced. Uh, frequencies. Basically, your CPU can only can only provide 60 FPS, and your GPU would be able to provide 75. So the usage of the GPU is lower, and the frequency also being lower because that's how the new GPUs work. So don't worry, um, it won't cause damage. Your GPU is not defective. You just most likely have a frame lock, or you have a CPU slash RAM bottleneck. So overall, basically, if you think that your performance, the performance that you're having is quite satisfactory, but you actually have that, uh, those frequency jumps, well, just ignore those jumps, play your games, enjoy your games, uh, and if you have a frame lock, well, you already know why these are happening, or if you have a CPU bottleneck, you, you know why 
these jumps are happening. It's nothing, it's nothing to be worried about. It's just how the CPU, GPU slash RAM work, how everything together works in these newer GPUs. So sorry if this was kind of confusing. I tried to explain it the best way possible, but I'm kind of tired today. But I really wanted to record the, the video uh, for you guys f to help you guys. So basically, yes, or you, you are having a frame locker or you're having a CPU slash RAM bottleneck. That's how things work. Or the third one that I, I forgot, uh, you may have uh, a power restricted GPU. So just go to your overclocking settings, raise the power bar to the max, and you most likely will have higher performance just by doing that. And well, guys, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Do not forget, hit like, subscribe, and share this video because that really helps a lot. And see you in the next one, hopefully being way less tired than today. See you in the next video, guys.